Hello, everybody. Welcome to Cat and Beats. It's been a while. Don't worry about it. I'm going to come back full force in February. But in the meantime, um, I have the saturator here and I'm working with it to for uh, for another project. And I, I, I don't like the saturator. I think for sound design, it's great. But for mixing usages, it's really, really annoying. And the reason why it's annoying is because the drive button and the output button cannot be connected you have to do a little trick which i'll show you because i made it connected like this you see it's interesting and then you can choose the type and i'll show you what that does but the reason why it's annoying is because normally you would have a saturator you would say i want to saturate my signal a little bit overall because i want a more saturated signal um, and you would drive the unit I would immediately add 12.6 dB to the overall volume. And then I would think to myself, yeah, that sounds way better and way warmer and way more whatever the hell it is you want to say. But it doesn't. It's just adding 12 dBs. And you can't actually really hear the distortion that well because you're so overwhelmed with the amount of output level that you're doing. You think it's better. But Ableton made a knob here called output. And if you would be able to just put that down to minus 12.6 at the same time as you're putting up the drive and not have to go back and forth the whole time because this is it's just stupid annoying to me anyway then if you would have that then you would can decide you know is the sound overall without a volume change actually any better or is it a little bit worse you know does it actually fit in the mix yes or no so let's do that and uh, I'll show you how to make this little audio effect track. So the first thing you have to do is click on group, command G, or you can right click and press, uh, I don't even know where it is here, group, command G, control G in Windows language. Then click on this magic button over here, right there. Ooh. Click on that and boom, you have the audio effect rack. So I'm just gonna get rid of this one. And you can call it, whatever you want all right and then you click on map click on drive click on map on macro knob number one click on output click on map on macro knob number one then go up here you see these macro knob things right have this on 0 db have this on 0 db have this on minus 36 db and Bob is your uncle. So the only thing you have to do now is have one knob. So if you have like a controller or something, you just have to move up one knob. You can not look at the screen and you can s listen to if you like the effect, yes or no. So let's just have a listen to this quick drum loop. Now the next thing that I would want to do would be once I get a comfortable setting of it's kind of saturating and it's kind of not, is to be able to change all these clipping points. And I, again, I don't really want to use my mouse. So let's just map that to this. So you have the type. So you can now say, okay, I have the macro number one controlling the amount of saturation. And then the type, I can see if I like the different type. So. Now, the next thing I would want to do, obviously, this soft sign is getting saturated faster. So you would have two knobs and you can kind of control it at the same time. You know, it's, it's like a woo -woo 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 thing. So that's one thing. The next thing that I would want to have as a knob function or a keyboard function is an on off function. And I like having that on my keyboard. So command K this with any number or letter that you want. Let's just say number one. And now what I can do is go with one knob or just go like this with one knob and then say, listen to it like that and then think like, okay, does it sound actually any better with saturation on it, yes or no? Because now there won't be that much of a level difference. Oh my God.
And then you can start figuring out like, hey, I can really hear what saturation is doing. I can really, you know, feel it instead of just thinking it's louder, it's better, cool. Yeah, it's saturated. So um, you can use the saturator for, you know, a sound design, brilliant. But for mixing, do this, you'll do yourself a favor. And uh, that's it for today's uh, episode of Cat and Beats. And in February, I'll see you guys again, maybe in between as well. But it's going to be epic. The future is going to be epic. It's just tiring. Anyway, much love. Peace out. Have a lovely, have a lovely Monday or whatever day you're watching this. Bye.